start by asking the question I think is on everyone's mind. It's the white elephant in the room. Uh, does Elizabeth McCord use a private email server? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that could be a good storyline for you, though, you know? It's not a bad idea. Um, well, obviously, people have compared the character to Hillary Clinton, and I know going into the second season, you're probably hoping that that sort of dies away. But considering that her tenure as Secretary of State is so much in the news, uh, how do you deal with those comparisons? You're pointing at me. Yeah, you. <laughs> um, well, I, I, you know, in the beginning, I really tried to sort of move away from that question just by, honestly, I, the whole thing, I, I was focused solely on Kissinger. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, yes, yes. I thought it was clear. <laughs> uh, and then as it went on, you know, the truth is we've had these three very impressive uh, female secretaries of state, and, and I've been stealing from each three fairly equally. Uh, and, and Hillary, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a bad thing in life to have somebody come up and be like, hey, are you doing Hillary? I kind of, well, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that, didn't, that, that didn't come out right at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, uh, I think God. Twitter just exploded over that quote, so we have a should clarify. Water. Barbara, you want to jump in? <laughs> I mean, do you guys think about it? Do you try to avoid making sort of obvious parallels, or is it just out there and you just kind of deal with it as it comes? No, I think Taya's right. I, I was really so focused on trying to create um, a Secretary of State that was our own creation for TV, and I did um, read all of their stories and, and pay attention to their particular styles. They all have very different styles, and I took a little bit from each of them. But, you know, it's enough of a challenge to try to create our own original character, and that's what we were all focused on. Yeah. Uh, so, Taya, you're sort of famous for turning down projects, and uh, you decided to say yes to this one. Uh, why did this one appeal to you and, and change your mind about wanting to do another TV series at this stage? Um, well, I, you know, the way that this sort of came to me, uh, you know, well, a strong female character uh, who's a bit of a fish out of water, I tend to gravitate towards that. Uh, and, and it was, I knew Morgan. Morgan and I had worked together a long time ago. And seeing his name right at the front, I knew that I would be protected. Morgan is a great feminist. Uh, and I knew that he would help protect the, uh, don't do that, uh, the integrity of this character. Mm -hmm. And that was really important. And then I read the thing, and I was knocked out by Barbara's writing. And I loved not only uh, the, the political aspects of it, but also this relationship that was going to be between Henry and Elizabeth. This idea of seeing a very powerful woman with you know, a, a husband character who was somebody so uh, strong in his own ego and his own sort of, I don't know, that, that he could be alongside with her. We haven't seen that. And I thought that was very interesting. So uh, that was, it was sort of close to a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. And I guess for me, I just knew after I read it that I couldn't not do it. That's how I kind of, I tend to back into projects <laughs> that way. Yeah. And I couldn't not do this one. And Barbara and Lori, what made you think of Taya? I know Nina Tassler also was involved in the decision as well. I mean, what made you think she would be right for this kind of a role? Well, I've um, followed Taya for a long time, and especially um, I met her one time quickly on the, on the set of Deep Impact, and there was just a strength. Um, she's a gal's gal and a, and a guy's gal. Like, everyone on set loves her all the women, all the men, she really makes everyone comfortable. She walks in, we call it, you know, she's number one on the call sheet, so everyone's a little deferential, but Taya makes everyone feel like we're all number one on the show, and it's a really great woman to be around, and I'm really- I love this night. <laughs> <laughs> I was so Wait, worried. I okay, hold yet. on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if I could just um, add, when um, Barbara and I said to Morgan, um, Nina Tassler was thinking of Taya Leone, this is what Morgan did. Of <laughs> do you remember that? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> um, and how important of a factor was it to you to have powerful women behind the scenes as well on, on this project? I think very, absolutely. And, uh, and, and it's proven to be 
uh, as important and impactful as I as I thought. Yeah. Now there's a I I I think that we each have our own personal experiences of what it is to be coming up and not just in this industry but in this world and uh, it's we're having this is a really great experience I have to say I'm, yeah. I'm really getting a kick out of this. You, you do have an interesting role in the show, Tim, uh, in that you are the, the husband of the, the Secretary of State. Um, what appealed to you about, about taking on this character when they initially approached you about it? Well, two things. The, the first is sort of a superficial thing that I'd never seen uh, uh, a professor of religion portrayed on television before. And I thought that was fascinating and that it lent a lot of um, sort of depth and, and layers to the relationship and the relationship of someone who is dealing with uh, geopolitical affairs all the time because unfortunately a lot of our conflict around the globe, rem globe remain uh, you know, conflict of, of religion and I thought that Henry would have a particular insight into those things. Um, but more than that, I, I, this may be sort of a contrary point of view, but I saw Henry as kind of the primary role model in this show because I think we have seen in real life a lot of strong women who have been Secretary of State. We've seen a lot of strong women on television, but to see a guy who is confident enough not to sabotage his wife, but to be able to say, you know, go girl, be as big as you can be, I'll be right here doing my own thing, I thought was a really great message for men. The dichotomy here, in a sense, is this political woman, she's in politics up to her very eyebrows, and she's married to this professor of ethics, of religion. And uh, they never run counter to each other as a result of that. As a matter of fact, they seem to weave together. How do you manage to, to work in the foreign policy stuff into the, the home life and the home life into the foreign policy stuff? We're gonna look at a, a clip in a minute of a, a breakfast table scene, which has been kind of iconic for the show that, you know, just as they're getting ready for their day, they're also dealing with these you know, world matters. How do you kind of titrate that out of how much of each to kind of put into each episode? Um, from the beginning, I really had this approach that I called the three-pronged approach to storytelling, which is that every episode I wanted to have an international event. Um, I wanted to have a story about inner office politics, which I think are pretty universal. I wanted to show that you know, even in the State Department, people are unhappy about their parking place or their office. You know. <laughs> um, and then I wanted to put that in context with family life, because early on, I was talking to Laurie and Morgan about it, and I said, this story is really only interesting in full context, and we all were in agreement about that. This is the Secretary of State story when she also has to go home and deal with what she has to deal with, where she's dealing with the President of the United States in the morning and the President of the PTA in, in the evening is sort of, you know, the context we, we wanted to give it. And um, so we're very devoted to, to serving all of those aspects of the storytelling. Mm -hmm.